Jim? John, what are you doing here? One of the nurses told me she saw you up here. Hey. You know, you forgot our date the other night, right? You were supposed to take me to lunch today. I'm beginning to feel slightly rejected. And very undernourished. I'm sorry, Joan. But I'm, uh, I'm having a little trouble getting it all together these days. Darling, that doesn't sound like you. What's the matter? That's Joe Ganning. He's wrecking my appointment, Joanna. He proposed you for it. Oh, much to his regret, I'm afraid. He's now in the process of turning the entire hospital into a rumor factory. There has to be a reason. Oh, no, there's a reason. He has a patient who's dying by the name of Taggart. Wounded in Vietnam. And the other night, in pain, under sedation, he vomited out some memory fantasy out of him. about a massacre of civilians in Vietnam. And then he accused me of uh, taking part in that massacre. But Jeff, that's insane. He's, uh, he's seen a photograph. A photograph that, uh, Supposedly shows me at the scene of the massacre. A photograph. No, he he, he can't produce it. Taggart's wife has it and won't give it up. A war memento of Taggart's psychotic mind. We'll fight it. We'll get a lawyer and we'll. We'll go to Washington. There must be records there. We'll just, we'll expose it. Maybe it's a long road. No. We've got to. That's the only way we can... We can kill these rumors and expose the truth. Jim, your career's on the line. Our lives. I love you. Would you please hear me out? Um, I've talked this over with my husband. Um, he tell you to come here? No. No. Okay, what do you want? Help. You see, my husband's reputation... never have killed a child or anyone. I'm sorry, would you mind if I sat down? Ah. This sort of hit me all at once. I guess I, uh, I'm not quite sure how to handle it. And you're used to handling things, huh? Look, uh, I understand you have a picture. A picture that could either incriminate my husband or prove that these charges are unfounded. And you want to see that picture? We are not very well off. But I came here prepared to offer you... Money? Money? 
for the only thing that Danny brought back with him. I give you that picture and it's forgotten. And Danny ends up looking like a liar. All I can do is try to help my own husband. Because I love him. And because I know he's innocent. We have a life to live. That's all I'm asking. Just let us live it, please. You got my permission. Live. Sorry. No call for that. I'm keeping the picture. If Danny dies, it's the only thing I got left of him. something he stood for. It's a, a wrong you try to make right. And nobody will listen. But don't worry, Mrs. Courtney. With a little luck, Danny won't come out of this coma. And then it's all over. You claim you have that picture. Obviously, you intend to pursue this thing. Shouldn't I? If it's true, yes. If that picture isn't positive evidence, what can you possibly gain? Now, the accusations have been made, and they are destroying us. Why must Jim's life be ruined when he can be so useful? He is a fine doctor, capable of saving hundreds of lives, children's lives. If you let this go on, Mrs. Taggart, just what are you doing? How many lives are you destroying? fair to tell you that Danny got kind of mixed up about things once in a while. He'd imagine things. You know, he'd get drunk, sick. He'd start talking about killing people in Vietnam. Except it was always the other guy who threw the pistol first. The VA doctor wanted him to see a psychiatrist. trying to tell me? That we can't believe everything Danny told us. What about the photograph you showed me? I don't know where he got it. He used to tell me different stories. You said yourself you weren't even sure that it looked like the doctor. Yeah, but if it can't work against him, it could be proof for him. I brought it. You burned it? Why'd you do that? War's over. Dead or buried. How many others do we have to hurt just to keep one lousy memory alive? Now, wait a minute. This doesn't make sense. I mean, you change your story, you burn the photograph. All of a sudden, you're supporting Courtney. Forget it, will you? No, I don't know why. But somebody changed your mind. Who was it, Courtney? No. His wife, then. Look, you got what you wanted. Now, leave me alone, okay? Yeah. It's the Kramer boy, Dr. Gannon. I think you better have a look at him. Be right there. Reach Dr. Courtney at home. <laughs> 